Hey gamers, it's Cash, aka Critical Redemption, here with another video game review. And like I promised in my last review, I finally beat Assassin's Creed 2 after two times in a row. Assassin's Creed 2 is an awesome game. Let's just get that started. Um, I'm really excited to reveal this game to you and re review it, so let's get started. Assassin's Creed 2 is a historical action adventure open world stealth game. It was developed by Ubisoft Monreal and published by Ubisoft, released for the PlayStation 3, Xbox 360, Microsoft Windows, and Mac. It is the second video game installment of the Assassin's Creed series and franchise. It is a direct sequel to the 2007 video game Assassin's Creed 1. The game was released for video game consoles in November of 2009 for Windows in March of 2010. And like I said, it's a direct sequel from the Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. Later was released in November 2010. So I want to talk about the a little a little bit about the story, and as well as the gameplay. Let's talk about the story first. I'm gonna make it quick and simple. The frame story is set in the 21st century with player-controlled protagonist Desmond Miles. Your plan is for him once again escaping from Abstergo Industries with an employee, Lucy who is played by no other voiced by no other than Kirsten Dunst not Kirsten Dunst uh, Kirsten Kristen Bell I'm sorry <laughs> I'm watching too much spider-man anyway she voices Lucy and after being forced to relieve the genetic memories of ancestor Altair through a machine known as the animus after es uh, escaping Abstergo Desmond enters a device in which is more advanced and original than the uh, original Animus, it's called the Animus 2.0 and relieves the gen genetic memories of ancestor Ezio Arretore de Firenze, sorry I love saying that name, who lived during the Renaissance period of the late 15th and early 16th centuries in Italy. The player controls Ezio who becomes an assassin after his father and brothers are murdered by a traitor to their family. It's kind of like that, it's got that Batman feeling toward it. vengeance, you know. His parents are killed, he wants to go after the people that were in charge of his the, his parents' murder. While controlling that seal, the player can explore renditions of Italy cities, regions, and landmarks in an open world gameplay. Another thing I want to talk about is it's an open world gameplay, so for any of those free roam sandbox people, this is a very mission structured video game. What I mean by that is it's open world and has a lot of missions in it so you guys will be in heaven when you're playing this game. Um, another thing I want to say is as the game goes on you slowly evolve into the ultimate master assassin. You utilize arsenal of weapons and gadgets as well as designed by no other than famous artist and creator Leonardo da Vinci. So. It's got a great storyline. This is probably the best Assassin's Creed 2 storyline. Like Assassin's Creed 3, Brotherhood. I, like I said, I enjoyed Assassin's Creed 1 but didn't like the story. But this game has a lot of story. So I want to talk about the gameplay, guys. Let's get into a little bit about the gameplay. Like I said, it takes place in an open world, non-linear gameplay, allowing the player to roam freely within several regions throughout late 15th century Italy, such as Venice, Florence, For Forli, San Germano, and I've Tuscan countryside. The Animus 2.0 is a new version of the machine of the same name present in Assassin's Creed 1. Remember that, guys. It provides available extra historical information about key landmarks, the characters, as well as synchronization. You're jumping back into haystacks, which is awesome. You're synchronizing throughout the whole land, and you're getting more maps and side missions as well. A young Leonardo da Vinci is present in the game, aiding the player by creating new weapons from translated codex pages that Altair, the original game's main character, left behind for the future assassin analyst known as Ezio. Within the game, the player will be able to use... Let's see here. I forgot. The player will be able to use, like, uh, create weapons, upgrade your armor by going to the shops, Looting is back. Looting is one of my favorite things in the Assassin's Creed franchise. As well as um, leveling up Ezio. Getting different colors for your armor. And the settings of the various places that the player may go to have been made more detailed in depth. 
Civilians can carry objects and sometimes cough or sneeze. Additionally, the player can hire different groups of NPCs such as mercenaries, cordon signs, or thieves, or just hookers for these groups could they be used to fight, distract, or lure guards respectfully. And what I mean by that is luring guards, they're on you 24-7. If you murder someone and they see you do it, obviously they're going to be coming after you, chasing you, hunting you down. So you could hire these hookers to follow you around. But note, as you're walking through the town, the guards will be attracted to the hookers and then slowly you lose them one by one. So you have to be very careful. You could also hire mercenaries to lure guards and attack them. A day and night cycle has been added to the game, giving the game more of a sense of time in addition to setting missions and events at certain times of the day. So that's another aspect of the game that I really enjoyed. Did I enjoy or dislike anything? No. I actually thought this game had a perfection in the first one. There are many ways to interact with NPCs. Money thrown to the ground or a corpse carried and deposited on the ground may also serve as a distraction for both guards and peasants. There are also several different types of enemies such as agile, stronger, or just regular civilians walking around. And another thing I also liked was the activity search from hiding places where Ezio was last seen. The combat system. Let's talk about the combat. With the ability to disarm opponents using counterattacks, Ezio is able to unarm guards if the player steals an enemy's weapon is possible to follow up with an attack then instantly kills the enemy da vinci provides the player with specialized weaponry so you could customize your weapons going back to him finding codex pages like i said before you could get your hidden blades poison blades poison blades are awesome just going up to guards and just poisoning them and then walking away they're all confused firearms genetic swords Maces, axes, daggers, you name it. This whole entire city is well crafted. It's beautiful, open world. You could do side missions. You don't have to finish the story. You could just walk around doing whatever you want. Another thing I also like was the horseback riding. You could actually take horses, like in The Legend of Zelda. I love that part of the game. Other equipment includes larger pouches to carry more throwing knives and medicine. Six additional weapons can be unlocked by connecting to your PlayStation 3 or Xbox 360. Alongside of that, the family's courtside villa located in Mont Giannani acts as Ezio's headquarters, kind of like the Batcave. Surrounding property can be upgraded, drawing income from the players, and you get to work with Uncle Mario. What else do you want from that? Ezio receives discounts at the shops, and he can also sell things. Purchasing weapons, armor, sets, and artwork also contributes to increasing the villa's overall worth and turn it generating more from the income of the town of Montgomery. I've said a lot. I don't dislike anything about this game. I really enjoyed this game, guys. If you don't have this game in your collection and you're an Assassin's Creed stealth action adventure type of gamer, then go get this game, guys. This game is great, beautiful, the character design, the voice acting, Roger Craig Smith also voices Ezio, he also voices Sonic and a couple of other, Chris Redfield from Resident Evil, he's a great voice actor and he provides Ezio with that, that really how should I say it, Italian voice. And you wouldn't even know that he's an American guy just doing that Italian accent. The voice acting is incredible. What can I give...